Welcome guys. So in this lecture, let's look at how to add a splash screen to our app. This is very simple and straightforward. Of course, it involves some certain steps of which the first will be to design and add an image that will be using as a splash screen. All right. So the measurement of the image needs to be 720 by 1280. All right. So what I've done is I've designed mine with Canva canva.com thus you can actually you know create some amazing designs there all right so the first thing i'm going to do is to bring in my design and i'm going to add it to my drawable folder all right so let me go here and add a new folder and name it drawable i have my drawable folder so let me add an existing file so guys, I'm using Visual Studio for Mac 2017 and it's roughly the same thing if you're using Visual Studio 2017. You're st it's still the same process, so you don't need to worry about anything. Don't get confused at all. It's the same process, all right? So on my desktop, I have Splash. So this is the image I'm going to be using as my Splash screen. As you can see, the dimensions are 720. I want to 80 so you can always create this type of image with this kind of dimension on 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 Canva and can use it for your splash screen copy so the next thing to do is to create a splash XML all right so in the XML we have a layer list in that place we can define our image as well as the background colors that will be using our splash screen all right so let's head over to our Drawable folder and add a new file, right? So the new file, we are going to call it splash.xml. Splash. Okay. So now let's head over and create a layer list. Layer list. So add our SM namespace equal to http schemas dot android dot com slash apk slash res slash android android. So inside the layer list, we're going to have to create our color and we have to define that in our color XML, right? So in our values, we liquid our color XML and we define a new color name. Color name. You can call it splash background. Okay. So we want the background to be white. So we we'll put the white color code. Okay, this will suffice. So the next thing is to define our color in our splash.xml. So item color Android what? equals to at color slash splash background and the next thing we need to do is to define a new item that will hold our bitmap that's our image okay so bitmap That's how we see. So we we'll have to assign um, our bitmap source to the image that we brought in, the cover image that we brought in. So look at the name. The name should be splash.png. So this is going to be the source of our bitmap, right? So the source will be a drawable slash splash. Remember, there's no need to add the PNG. So Android 
set the skill type metrics Android layout height layout height to be few parent because we want the image to fill the entire area of our splash screen layout width okay so your parent and the next thing we need to set is the tile mode all right we need to set the tile mode we need to disable that all right because we don't want um, we don't want the image to be split in any way we just want one image our splash image to cover the entire screen when the application is starting time mode equal to disabled okay so that's that's with our layer list and we are done with this so let's control save it so the next thing we need to do is to create a team okay so this team is what we're going to be assigning to our splash activity all right so we'll create the team that's a new style style name will be let's call it my team dot splash parent will be team dot app compact dot light dot we don't need an action bar so there should be no action bar right so item name, we create new items in the style. Set the window background. So the background of our activity will be filled up with the layer list we created, which is the splash.xml in our drawable folder. So we'll reference it here by saying at drawable slash splash so the next item will be window no title so that's true and the last one will be window full screen Set that to true. So the next thing that we need to do is to create our splash activity. Our splash activity will assign this theme to it. This my theme the splash. This should be the theme for the splash activity. So the splash activity will be running while our application is booting up, and eventually we might need to put in some commands. We might need to put in some functions in the splash activity some things that we want the app to do while it's being loaded up okay so guys the next thing we need to do like i said is to create the activity just to ensure that things are well organized we will create a folder and call it activities there we'll be adding all our new activities into the folder call it activities so add new file Android activity, we'll call it splash activity. Okay, fine. So we change this to app compact activity. We bring in Android support. Okay, so we change the label to Add string slash app name so 
So we set the team to at style slash my team dot splash. Set it at the main launcher. True. Then no history. The no history actually means that we cannot go back to the splash screen. Okay. You know, normally a normal a normal activity you can always you know tap your back button to go back to it, but we don't want to keep that in the back stack, okay? So that's why we are setting no history to true. So we want it to always be portrait. Portrait. So guys, the next thing we want to do is we need to override it on resume. Okay. So is this the place we load main activity when the app has finished loading up? Bam. So it's just as simple as that. Okay. So I think everything is ready. Okay. So I think we are done here. But there are some things you probably might need to take care of. Um, I think we are, this is a mistake. This should be happening within this way. Now you need to ensure that um, your splash image and your splash XML are not of the same name. You need to change that, right? So if you see, you can see that we have splash and splash. This will cause a confusion and it will work. So all we need to do is just to rename one and we just have to change that to rename it to, uh, to cover. Once we've done that, that means that we need to effect the change in a splash.xml as well. So, so let's quickly head over to splash.xml and it did the change. So here will now be cover and we are safe. So guys, the last thing you probably might need to be aware of is you need to ensure that your main activity is no longer the main launcher. All right. So how to change this is by setting this to false. If this is still true, it might cause a confusion and it might not work for you. So your splash screen might not show up. So I think that's probably everything that you need to do. So now the last thing is to run our app and just see it in action. So guys, let's debug. Okay, it takes a few moments to build up. So our build is finishing up. There we go and you can see our splash screen before it starts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a delay so that we can see our splash screen for like let's say for more seconds before it jumps right in so I'm going to add thread let's bring in this namespace let's sleep 2000 this 2000 milliseconds is equivalent to two seconds okay and let's run it so guys here you can actually add functions that can do some things let's say you want to first of all check if a user is logged in if a user is registered or something okay at this particular point you can do such checks and before the application actually starts all right so in further classes we'll look at how to do that but for now Let's see our splash screen. Bam, it's beautiful. So guys, this is just how to create a splash screen. So see you in the next class.